What brings you to this particular event on the day of service today? Well, our president has called upon all of us to be leaders in our own lives. Dr. King said that all of us can be great because all of us can serve. And what a wonderful idea that President Obama had to call everyone to service on Martin Luther King Day uh, on the eve of this historic inauguration. So I'm just glad to be here sporting the uh, most important title of all, and that is citizen, along with all of my fellow citizens on this great day. Have you mingled with any other volunteers in the crowd as you've done any care packages, any stories that people have told you? Yeah, well, you know, I've been just small talking with people that are coming through the lines and filling up the bags for our troops and in Iraq and Afghanistan and people coming from all over the country and just delighted that we have a president that's appealing to our higher angels. It's calling upon all of us to realize that the you know, greatest asset we have as Americans is one another. And that's what this day of service is all about. If someone were to make a care package for you, what would you put in it? What would you want to be in it? Oh, about uh, $500 million for health care uh, for my people, um, some dollars for affordable education so that we can compete with uh, kids in New Delhi and New Zealand and all around the world. So those are the things we're hoping for in the care package that President Obama is calling the Reinvestment and Recovery Act, and I'm really looking forward to that. So, so what are the most important issues to you as governor of Maryland? The most important issues are, you know, the issues that determine our strength as a people, mainly, you know, investments in education, public safety, our, the health of our environment, and our, our infrastructure, which undergirds our economy. We need to get our middle class growing again as a nation so that we can be not, not just an economic leader of the world, but also a moral leader of the world, to be a country that's actually driving and fueling uh, wealth in the world and advancing the cause of justice and the four freedoms that FDR and other presidents uh, throughout time have articulated for us. So, as you know, inauguration weekend, crazy, lots of crazy stuff going on. Have you participated in any fun, crazy stuff this week? Fun, crazy stuff? Well, we had a tremendous off-the-hook ball last night <laughs> at the Mayflower Hotel, and Marilyn was there in force. You know, we made 10% of the calls that were made for the Obama campaign in the general election were made by Maryland volunteers. One out of six doors knocked on in Virginia were knocked on by Marylanders. So last night's uh, Maryland ball was kind of a crazy off the hook sort of thing. People are just so happy and elated that we have our, our country back, or at least the opportunity to move again towards that country we carry in our hearts. Any, um, are you, you know, there's lots of celebrities. Is there anyone in particular that you'd like to see and mingle with? <laughs> celebrities I'd like to see and mingle with. I mean, you know. You know yeah, well, you know, the um, the celebrity doesn't impress me as much as the community impresses me. And to be able to see our country just coming alive again, you know, to have that goodness that each American carries in their hearts, to have it touched and ignited and you know, this is a, a day of national service, and you know what we're doing in terms of filling the care packages for our troops is really just a small symbol of the greatness that exists in our understanding of community in our country. That we're all in this together, and and that's the most important celebrity I think that I'm going to be able to touch. It's the millions of my neighbors who are gathered on the mall for President Obama's inauguration and the millions and millions of people in our country and all around the world that have hope again that America is on the comeback.